When you're looking to create a personal brand, there are so many decisions to make and so many questions to answer. It can be overwhelming. My friends, I've been doing this for five years and I still get overwhelmed with all of the bits and pieces. But after years of testing and asking questions and creating a brand of my own, I've created a five pillar framework that I think is going to help you make sense of the chaos. Today, I'm showing you the five pillars of personal branding for sales. Stick around. Hey friends, it's Leanne and I have a confession to make. I get completely overwhelmed with all of the things called personal branding. And as a personal branding trainer, you would think I would have a better handle on all of the bits and pieces, but it is such an obtuse and abstract concept. And for someone who's still developing a brand, making sense of all of those pieces can be daunting. My friend, I've been there. I am still there. I am right there beside you. So here is what I did. I finally sat down and I said, okay, what do we need to know here? And I started to put them into what I called at the time buckets. And it soon became very clear that there were five distinct buckets. Every decision we make, everything we ask ourselves about what to include, everything we need to amplify through our brand and who it is we're talking to, it fell in one of these five buckets. So today I wanna to show you what these five buckets are. It's called the five pillars of personal branding and it's specifically for sales managers who are looking to develop a brand while working for an organization that has a product or service. Before I dive into the five pillars of personal branding, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on that little bell to be notified of new content. All the decisions that you have to make about personal branding I want to cover in videos ahead, and I don't want to miss you to miss out on the tips that can help you grow your brand week over week. And stick around to the end of the video. I have a workbook that gives you the five pillars, and I want to make sure that you can get it into your hands. And so without further ado, let me show you the five pillars of personal branding, the PB5D framework, as I'm calling it. Let me show you what these five D's stand for. Pillar number one, define your goals. When developing a personal brand, it is critical that you define who it is you're creating the brand for and what it is you're actually creating. Your goals will change over time and that is okay. It's part and parcel of the process. But ensuring you start with a definition of the goals for your personal brand is a great place that will set the groundwork for all the other decisions to come. So defining your goals, pillar number one. Pillar number two, designing your brand. And this is the fun one. And we started to talk about that earlier last week when I showed you eight areas of your personality that you can tap into to decide what to amplify in your brand. And you can find that video right up here along with a workbook that you can use to doodle some notes about what you want to amplify. But this is the fun part. A lot of people think this is the colors and the fonts and the logos. And yes, it is part and parcel, but I would prefer that you focused on what you are going to amplify in your brand about your personality. That's pillar number two, designing your brand. Pillar number three, determining your platforms. Whew, this is the big one. This is where the most work is going to be put in. It's a lot of fun doing pillars number one and two, but pillar number three is where the rubber hits the road and you amplify your brand, be it through social media, blogging, creating a video series, podcasting, doing long form articles, whatever that is, we need to determine what those platforms are because my friend, you can't do them all. Over time, you might be able to do them all. And Gary Vaynerchuk's a great example of this. He's on a multitude of platforms. But you and I, 
We do not have that kind of manpower and we need to decide on what our platforms are in pillar number three when we get started. So pillar number three, determining your platforms. Pillar number four, developing your content. Now this is a lot of work. This is where we actually now take the platform that we've chosen and we create content for that platform so that people are brought in and engaged by our personal brand. Developing our content takes a lot of sketching out of ideas. And you know, so you do spend a ton of time in pillar number four. But remember, it's only one pillar of your brand and all those other pillars feed into what you're going to be creating into pillar number four, developing your personal brand content. Pillar number five, and in my experience, the most often ignored, discovering your community. Go back to pillar number one and revisit why it is you're creating a personal brand. Is it to attract more business to your product or service? Is it to attract more recognition or job opportunities for yourself? Well, if it is, then other people are involved in the process. This is not a one-man show. You are only one part of the personal brand puzzle. Discovering your community and serving your community is what we're doing in pillar number five. Let's not forget this so important pillar. And my friends, as I promised at the top of the video, this framework is for you to use and you can find it over at leannecalderwood.com forward slash framework. There you can start doodling some initial notes on what does developing content mean for me and what, do, what platforms can I amplify my brand through. So make sure you download the workbook and start creating your own personal brand today. Friends, if you're thinking of starting a personal brand or you've started one already, I would love to know which pillar was most impactful for you. Please comment below this video or hop on over to our Facebook group at Personal Branding for Sales and let us know what pillar impacted you the most in your branding journey. As I mentioned, community is such an important part of the personal branding process and I consider you part of my community. Please stay in touch. Let me know how your journey is going. Find me over on the Facebook page. Find me over on LinkedIn. Let me know how it's going and most importantly, how I can help you. Best of luck, everyone. Bye for now.